Destiny, Adam and Stitch fans aren't looking for agreement. They're looking for authentic empathy. Being smug and calling conservatives retarded is not empathetic. No, no, you're not looking for empathy. But I mean, I understand it. I mean, nobody really... People, people want to be understood and people want to be agreed with. That's what people are looking for. I'm empathetic towards conservatives. I understand why they believe what they believe. But you're looking for somebody that's being a little bit more swayed than that. You want somebody to tell you that your beliefs are okay. I understand why people believe the things they do. And I'm empathetic towards it. It doesn't mean that it's not retarded as f***. It doesn't mean it's not f***ing stupid. I can understand why people wouldn't believe in it. But like, what am, I mean, what am I supposed to say at the end of the day, right? Like if in 20 years, if we start having like actual migrations due to like climate change, the, the annoying thing, too, is that here's my here's my issue, okay? And you know what? This is the Nebraska conservative side of me coming out. People need accountability. You need accountability for your actions, okay? And somehow conservatives are just allowed to slide on through after saying some retarded shit for a long time. And I don't like the lack of accountability there. Like, you were all wrong. All of you were wrong about the vaccine. Do you understand that now? Do you acknowledge that now? None of the mass deaths happened. None of the huge overreach of permanent government power happened. None of the permanent passport uh, uh, vaccine passports happened. None of the forced mass vaccines happened. None of the crazy side effects, crazy heart disease, crazy deaths, um, mass mandatory new mRNA vaccine. None of that happened. None of it happened. You were all completely 100% wrong on it. But like you just kind of like slid on through that despite being wrong and probably causing a healthy amount of your own voters to die like hold on this f what is gained by trying to hold accountable for shit opinions it seems worthless probably more productive to say they were wrong to move on there has to be an accountability because people need to see a record of what you've been right or wrong on i wish that people cared about that i think that's important i think it's important for i think it's important for you to see historically who's been correct who's been wrong so you can start to project like who's going to make good predictions in the future right and conservatives have been wrong especially the anti-establishment folk have been wrong on almost everything so why would you believe anything they have to say in the future this is why i like to bet money on claims if you think the vaccine things are going to start to mass kill people let's bet money on it put your money where your mouth if you're going to come out and like i'm so confident blah, blah, blah. oh you're so confident wow you're going to give me odds on that mother you want to give me odds? How about we bet that there's at least 10,000 confirmed vax-related deaths out of 330 million people in the U.S.? That's not even that much, right? Let's bet. Let's bet a thousand bucks. I'll give you 10 to 1 on your money. You should give me odds. You think you're so f***ing confident. You give me odds, right? At least that UFO guy. I have more respect. I'm never going to collect on that bet with that UFO guy. You know what? I don't even give a f I don't care if he ever pays me because I have so much respect for the fact that he was at least willing to put his money where his mouth was. And that was on f aliens. So A plus to that dude, okay? You know, if you find find a record of me saying this, I won't even pay him out. I, I, I mean, I, I won't make him pay me out when there are no aliens in a year. You know, that's fine. Because um, at least he was willing to put his money where his mouth is. Jesus. What do you think your right to wrong ratio is? My right to wrong, I think I'm generally pretty correct. I think I couch my opinions pretty carefully most of the time. Or usually if I'll say, if somebody say like, what do you think is going to happen? I'll say, if this happens, if this happens, I think I'm generally pretty, pretty on the money. But I mean, hey, if you think I make bad predictions, then call me out on it. If you think I make good predictions, call me out on it. <clears throat> Remember how I said all these red pill guys would devolve and start fighting each other in like two months? <laughs> you see how, do you see how uh, Fuentes is now fighting with Sneeko, who's fighting with Zerka, and they've all broken up with each other? Hmm. Hmm. Remember when I said would Kanye West, after Fuentes ran off to that campaign, remember I said Ye would probably drop his campaign in two months and all those people would be scattered to the wind and then Fuentes came crawling back to content spaces looking for viewers? Hmm. A lot of anti-vaxxers I've talked to all say that their main issue was the government wasn't open with what was in the vaccine. What are your thoughts? On I don't even think it's true. I think it's another bullshit conspiracy about it. Like, oh, the ingredient list isn't included on some of the papers or whatever. Also, bullshit. This is like when conservatives try to act like the lab leak theory. Whoa. Oh, hold on. When we said lab leak, what we originally meant was that it's possible that by way of accident, somebody in the in the one of the Wuhan virology labs might have accidentally went to the wet market and leaked the virus to an animal or person there. That's what we went. Bullshit. Get the fuck out of here with that cuck fucking bullshit. That is not what your original theory was. It was that it was a bioweapon made in China that they were intentionally trying to leak to the world okay that and that was one of the more sane conspiracy theories relating to lab league but again i like it in the future conservatives will try to walk all their positions back to the most reasonable form of criticism and pretend like that was the mainstream opinion of the time. get the f out of here oh my god <sighs> why are we sneaking on fuentes fighting i don't know fuentes is probably done with the space because the red pill space is never going to accept him he's a virgin christian dude right
Oh, look at this guy. Why do I have all these random sexy girls that pop up on my Twitter with like 10,000 followers? I need it. It needs to stop! 